And thanks for joining us for Public Affairs on Peach. My guest this segment is a man who knows all about how people with bad intentions would love to get a hold of your money. Fred Ellsbury is president of the Better Business Bureau of Greater Atlanta. Good morning and thanks for Good joining morning. us. Good morning. Glad to be here. Thank you. All right, Fred. Uh, today you're going to talk to us about something that's a little different. Credit card mm -hmm. shimmers versus credit card skimmers. Give us the one, two, three about what this involves versus the credit card skimmers. Well, we've heard about skimmers for a number of years in your, where you swipe your card, you know, to put the skimmer in there, you put it in, pull your card out. Those have become almost obsolete now that we've gone to chip technology. So now we have chip readers that mm -hmm. we put our cards in. And so shimmers are very narrow, thin devices that scammers put in your card reader your magnetic reader. And so what happens is it's, it's a lot more difficult to detect. And so generally, when you put it in there, if, if you do experience any kind of problem, you need to immediately notify the store, notify the bank, because that may be an indication that there's a shimmer inside that device. Now, should I be surprised, should I feel safe if I'm at a department store or a well-known drugstore? that um, there could be a shimmer in there? There could be. Again, uh, the, the way you'll probably detect that would be the difficulty in getting it in and out. Uh, usually if it doesn't have a shimmer in it, it's going to go right in and come right out. The best uh, defense as it is against any type of identity theft and protecting your own personal information is to check your bank statement, check your credit card and your debit statements, check those regularly for any unusual activity to be sure that you haven't been a victim. What is considered regularly? I check mine at least once a month. Once a and, month? And if I have had a lot of activity, I'll check it online in between. Okay. A uh, lot of college students are going to be heading back to school this fall. Give us the ABC as to what they need to look for so that they don't become victims of identity theft. Well, first of all, I tell all our college students particularly is to learn to check your credit report once a year. Check it at annualcreditreport.com before you ever go to college mm -hmm. to see what's on your credit report and what kind of history you have. And get used to looking at that at least once a year, sometimes twice. In Georgia, we can get two copies without any cost. But think about security and everything you do. For example, they're looking for your checking account information, your bank account information. You want to be sure you secure that in your room and don't give that to anyone unless you have chosen them. All right. Thank you so much, Fred. Okay. And thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Public Affairs on Peach.